Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are developing a report based upon the new syntax. So firstly, I will develop the report in which we used for all entries in. Then we developed a report in which we used the join. Now in the last video, at the last I explained, yes, if the requirement is like this, that for every sales order, item data is not compulsory. Then in that case, if we will go for inner join here, that sales order will never come in the output because inner join will always, always return the matching records between the table. Then in that case, we need to go for outer join. If you want to go for the knowledge of outer join, it is fully, fully explained in the ABAP programming part two. So what is outer join? So whatever the knowledge is required at this point of time, we will cover. Outer join finds and return matching data as well as non-matching data. And this is what we want. We want the matching data also between VBAK and VBAP. We also want the non-matching data because we are going for a perception that it is not necessary that every sales order has a item data at the initial level. Now the question comes, we need to go for left outer join or we need to go for right outer join. What is left outer join? Left outer join, take all the values from the left table and then combine with the values of the right table whatever the table is present at the right hand side. And this is what we want. We want all the records. We want all the records based upon the condition, the table which is present at the left hand side. Then we need to combine with the table which is available at the right hand side. And yes, in this case, we will go for left outer join. So whenever whatever the result we will get based upon that, then we will simply, simply combine or we'll simply fetch the data from MAKT table after that. So firstly, what I will do, I will firstly go for left outer join between VBAK and VBAP and whatever that data we are getting, Based upon that, we will fetch the data from which particular table and make a table. So this is how we will go. But it is totally depends upon the requirement. From the starting itself, we are saying, yes, if the concept is clear, requirement might change. Why we use the inner join? Because previously we took the perception that, yes, whenever we have the sales order, item data is compulsory. It means we are matching always, yes. So we put the inner join. Now we are going for another scenario. If it is not compulsory that item data is always for the sales order, then in that case, we cannot go for inner join. We need to go for outer join. And based upon our requirement, we will go for left outer join. Because you want all the values from the left hand side table. And then yes, it will combine with the values of the table, which is at the right hand side. So what we will do now, rather than going for this query, I will go for left outer join. So what I will do, I'll simply create a new program and whatever is required will copy paste from this. So that there will not be any issue with this particular program. Suppose I will write Z demo join new syntax. Suppose I will write here outer join. Outer join new syntax. I'll go for this because otherwise it will give the name is too long. I will go for create. Yes, title of the program is same to say sales order report. I will go for the type as executable program and I will go for save. 
I will save this as a local object. Input of the program is same to same as our purpose is same to same. So I will simply copy this select option. Now I will declare the variable also. I will activate this program and we will provide the selection text. Go to text elements. I will simply go for DDIC reference and you all know this label is coming from the data element. Now we will write the query. So firstly, we will go for left outer join between VBAK and VBAP. So I will write select. What is first column? VBELN. You all know in the SAP ABAP new syntaxes, the columns are separated by comma. Postnar. Then we have Matena. Then we have AWMENG. VRKME. Now, from which table? VBAK. We'll create a alias as A. Now we will not go for simply writing the word join. Now we will go for left outer join. So it's totally your wish. You want to put left outer join completely or you are referring the word or you are using the word left join. It is totally your wish. Suppose if I will write left join. So SAP considers that yes, it is a left outer join or you can write full also. It is totally your wish how you want to go. Suppose I am writing left join. VBAP as B. Now, on what basis we are joining these two tables? On. We are joining on the basis of VBELN. What is common between both the tables? VBELN. Where A tilde operator. VBELN is equal to B VBEL. Here also I will specify this first column is from first table VBAK. It is from second table. B B it is your B and it is your B. So firstly we are joining VBAK and VBA. Now we will store into internal table. Into table. We will go for inline data declaration. Suppose I will write at the rate data. This data is for inline declaration and you all know all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. Suppose here I will give the name suppose lt underscore data. Now I will give the where condition, where a tilde operator v, b, e, sorry, er dat in s underscore er dat. So we join the two tables by using the left outer join. Now whatever the data is coming into this table, Based upon that, we will fetch that data from MAKT table. You all know in this internal table, what we will get, we will also get the Matena. So what is common between this particular internal table, but the Matena of this internal table, based upon the Matena of this internal table, we will fetch that data from MAKT table. So now I will write simply, if LT underscore data is not initial, I will go for and if. Now here, I will simply use add the rate here because this is your data object. All data objects are called as host variables and they must be prefixed with add the rate. Now, Based upon the data present into this internal table, we will fetch that data from MAKT table. You all know whenever you are applying for all entries in 
you should always always check internal table is not initial just see how we are doing firstly we put have put the three queries in that we used for all entries in then i showed you a single query in which we joined the three tables now you can see this program firstly we join this particular two tables using left outer join then we are using for all entries in to fetch the data from the third tables you can see various permutation or combinations of the open sql queries now i will fetch the data from the third table select from makt table you are only taking one column that is makt x from from which table we are fetching makt now we will store into internal table into add the rate data we will go for inline data declaration suppose it is your lt underscore makt now we will go for for all entries in because based upon that data present into this internal table you are fetching that data from makt table because your matnr is coming into this particular internal table so i will write for all entries in yes at the rate you all know all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate for all entries in at the rate what is the internal table name lt underscore date and what is the common column yes on what basis we are fetching data where matnr is equal to lt data matnr so you can see in this program we use join also we used after that for all entries in also all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate now i will go for a and condition also you all know we are passing the language as silent so i will write spras is equal to s y length now i will simply check the syntax okay we'll see k w m e n g sorry i put the wrong name oh i forgot to put that there into table sorry i forgot to use the word table done now i will activate this so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we are going for a assumption now that data of vbak table the sales order which is in vbak it is not compulsory that it is in vbap then in that case you cannot go for inner join because inner join always display the matching record then in that case you need to go for outer join and we are going for left outer join because we want all the records of vbak because sales order is in vbak then it will match or it will combine with the table which is at right hand side you can write left outer join or you can write left join also system will consider this as left outer join so we fetch the data from vbak table and vbak and vbap by using the left outer join and we store into this internal table after that into this internal table you have the material number you have the material number on what basis you are fetching data from makt table based upon material number so we have written if this internal table is not initial we are fetching data from makt table based upon that data present into this internal table and we want on what basis matnr of this internal table will go to matnr of makt table and we put the language to see how three programs is in first program we have three individual queries 
in the second program we have one single query which has the join in third program we have join also we have for all entries in also in the next video i will combine these two internal table into one single internal table and we will display the output so that's it in this video thank you